As a 3D artist, you probably want to achieve good results when it comes to making realistic looking bodies of water. So whether you want to create realistic water ripples or bodies of water such as oceans, pools and rivers, then today's shaders and add-ons are going to help you to do that as fast as possible and most importantly with minimum effort and computer power on the side of your machine. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First of all, we're gonna start with no other than real water. This Blender add-on is a library of procedural water shaders that are highly customizable and can produce super realistic results, making it perfect for those waiting to create photorealistic scenes containing water elements. The real water shaders come with an insane amount of customizability, giving you the ability to tweak various settings such as color, calmness, sediments range, specular, roughness, wave height, and other details. You can also add animations to your water shader, as well as the ability to add procedural foam effects, which work by adding foam near objects that are colliding with the water surface. And wait, there is more. It also comes with ocean surface shaders for that realistic ocean look. In addition to a specific shader for underwater scenes, which uses a procedural bubble effect using geometry nodes. Real Water also comes with a shader for some stylized blue tier effect, which simply looks amazing. And what's even better, this add-on is compatible with both EV and Cycles, and it is continuously being updated by the developer. Aquatic is another library that contains 2D and 3D water assets that can be easily be used in your scenes instead of spending hours simulating fluids yourself. This add-on covers over 17,000 assets as well as multiple waterfall assets that can be easily duplicated in your scene without costing performance and providing more complex effects. The add-on also comes with a shader called Waterial for creating procedurally animated water surfaces with low memory requirements. It is also very easy to customize and use and it comes with seamless textures that you can tile without making your patterns look duplicated. And on top of that, Aquatic comes with a collection of ready-made water materials for EV and cycles, as well as a ready beach scene that you can simply import, customize, and use in your projects. Next we have Vertex Fluid Enhancement, and this add-on is all about adding animated details to water and other fluids in your scenes. Vortex works by using the data from the actual fluid simulation, making it possible to generate waves that not only move along the flow, but also form realistic shapes that you normally see in regular fluid simulations. And what's great about Vortex is that it bakes all the data into accurate normal maps to directly apply to low poly mesh simulations, which makes this add-on a great solution for those who have slower machines or don't want to wait for hours waiting for their simulations to finish. This add-on also comes with its own physically accurate water shader if you want the most realistic renders, and it simply works on any object of your choice, not just simulations. You can also add extra effects to help sell the realism of the water, like wind and foam effects, which can be added on top of the other features, which is simply great for getting more complex simulations. If you want other options, there is also Delta Flow, which is a blender shader that utilizes flow maps to add a level of detail and motion to your fluids. Flow maps are image textures that provide directional information about which way another texture should be moved. Using these textures allows us to simulate effects like flowing rivers, whirlpools, and various other effects. Delta Flow comes with many shaders like the principled water shader with simple controls to affect many parameters like flow direction, speed, flow breakup strength, and scale. The add-on also includes a shader for more stylized water surfaces, as well as an emission lava shader. Another feature that comes with the add-on is the auto flow feature, which allows you to add flowing water later on top of your object that automatically moves down the sides, which can be a huge time saver for many use cases. But if you want to generate rain, we have an add-on called Rainwater. It is a set of procedurally animated shaders 
to add rain and add water to any material in cycles and EV. From simple rain and water ripples to splash rings on water surfaces and raindrop splashes. The saddle comes with a couple of features to help you completely sell the effect. And it gives you full control over your effects, including size, intensity, and color, as well as some animation controls for you to experiment and fine tune it. And it comes with many features like adding wetness splats where raindrops hit the ground, as well as ripple rings and even waves. Additionally, it includes a node for vertical services to create water drops on things like windows. In addition to the ability to add wetness splats that are fully animated based on the roughness of the surface beneath. Next we have what we called the ultimate water shader, which is simply about what the name suggests. It is a procedural water shader that comes with a huge set of adjustable parameters. First of all, it allows you to add a lot of details to your water surfaces and comes with a lot of settings like adding dirt, waves, foam, as well as the ability to mix different colors and types of water to get something interesting. And you don't have to worry about repeating patterns when working with huge ocean scenes, cause the shader takes care of that procedurally. And of course we can't forget that the shader can be applied to create underwater scenes with fake and amazing looking caustics that aren't heavy for your computer to process. And there you have it. So guys, if you are interested in one of these shaders or add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.